Welcome to this AIM Quick Guide to Urban Farm Animals, Service Animals, and Emotional Support Animals. Urban Farm Animals 19th century municipal ordinances set out to remove small farm animals from city limits, setting future trends in planning and aligning with public health needs. Established to control waste, water supply, and use of public space by banning slaughterhouses, urban authorities shaped some of the first land use regulation. Today, as a growing number of residents in Hoosier communities are voicing interest in bringing farm animals back into cities and towns, several factors should be balanced. The regulation of chickens, goats, and other animals inside municipal boundaries is accomplished by the adoption of local ordinances. Developing specific laws that consider the unique needs and wants of residents is critical on topics such as this one that garner strong and often diverse opinions among the people of your city or town. Some communities are looking to set standards for allowing animals, while other communities have concerns regarding the potential for disease, noise, odor, pests, and waste management. Many local ordinances provide excellent examples of what to include in ordinances addressing small farm animals in a municipal setting. Issues include Number of animals The maximum number of animals allowed per property varies by city and county. For example, Indianapolis allows up to 12 hens per property. Bloomington allows up to 5 chickens on certain size lots. Type of animals Farm animals should be defined including what is included and not included. For example, the definition of fowl might also indicate that roosters, peacocks, or guinea fowl are not allowed. Defining purpose. In some ordinances, urban farm animal raising and keeping means the raising or keeping of animals in residential zoning districts for non-commercial purposes, noise ordinances, and impact on type of animal. Roosters, for example, might be specifically addressed in a community's noise ordinance. Coops, runs, or housing. Making sure the style is adequate for the animal's safety and permitted for the size and setbacks per lot size of the residence. Disposing. Regulations regarding the disposal of waste and methods used should be included to ensure adequate health and safety. Health. Any animal allowed within a municipal boundary may be required or recommended to have regular veterinary checkups. Yard maintenance. Recommendations or requirements on the proper upkeep to meet land use needs. Zoning. If zoning is involved, clear direction regarding permits and variances may be included. If your community is looking for specific examples, we suggest reviewing Bloomington, Carmel, Evansville, Indianapolis, Noblesville, New Palestine, and South Bend ordinances for reference. Service animals. In addition to regulation of small farm animals, there must be a consideration of whether these animals are treated as and classified differently if they are presented by the owners as service or emotional support animals. Service animals perform certain tasks for a person with a disability or medical condition. Service animals undergo specific training that prepares them to perform their roles. An example of a service animal is a guide dog who assists a blind individual. The Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, provides specific rights for service animals. You can find more information at ada.gov using the specific link provided in this quick guide. House Enrolled Act 1354, signed by the governor in 2023, made changes to Indiana's definition of service animals. IC 16-32-3-1.5 provides that only a dog or miniature horse may qualify as a service animal. This law also states that a public accommodation shall make reasonable modifications in policies, practices, or procedures to permit the use of a miniature horse by an individual with a disability and sets forth certain requirements when permitting, 
or not permitting a person with a disability to bring a service animal on the premises. State guidelines follow federal law to clarify what's considered a service animal and what's not instead of the previous use of service animal generally. Under IC 22-9-5-9.5 and IC 16-32-3-1, the ADA requires state and local governments and private entities such as businesses and nonprofit organizations that serve the public to allow service animals to accompany those with disabilities in all areas where members of the public are allowed. Service animals are also recognized under the Air Carrier Access Act, or AACA, and the Fair Housing Act, or FHA. Emotional Support Animals Emotional Support Animals, or ESAs, are less specialized than service animals. ESAs typically provide comfort and support for people with emotional or psychological diagnoses rather than physical conditions. Emotional support animals may be dogs, but they can be other species as well, such as cats, rabbits, birds, fish, or any other type of small animal that is commonly kept in a home. The ADA does not cover emotional support animals, but the federal FHA and AACA do provide rights. As prescribed in IC 22-9-7-12 and IC 22-9-7-9, the FHA requires most landlords to provide a reasonable accommodation to a tenant who has an emotional support animal, notwithstanding any no pets policy or other restrictions on pet. This is because the law attempts to ensure that people with disabilities, including people with mental health conditions, have an equal opportunity to obtain and have housing. However, documentation establishing that an animal serves as an emotional support animal may be requested. For example, an exotic animal or farm animal may be considered an ESA protected under the FHA. However, federal guidance states that when there is an animal that is not commonly kept in households, The individual seeking accommodation has the substantial burden of demonstrating a disability-related therapeutic need for the specific animal or specific type of animal. The FHA prohibits discrimination by municipalities against those with disabilities. Disability is defined under the FHA as a mental or physical impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. The FHA requires reasonable accommodations to allow emotional support animals if the accommodation does not create a hardship. If you need additional information about urban farm animals, service animals, or emotional support animals, please reach out to us at aim at aimindiana.org. The same quick guide is sponsored by Meyer Najem. Meyer Najem was founded on the intention of strengthening communities through well-crafted buildings, providing intentional guidance, and having a passion for people. For more than 35 years, Meyer Najem has provided construction, development, and real estate services for municipalities throughout the country. Meyer Najem believes that each of their projects, including the more than 20 build, operate, transfer projects completed in the past four years, play an important role in a healthy community. For more on Meyer Najem and how they can help you reach your BOT goals, please contact Dan Lawson, Executive Vice President of Business Development and Partner at dlawson at meyer-najem.com or visit their website, meyer-najem.com.